hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing some tips for xrf and how to we can end copy the things and uh, um, some other tips in uh, XRF, xrf how we can do it so please watch my video and please subscribe my channel it's totally related to autocad and rivet okay so if you like my video please subscribe it so I will, I will show you how to do that one some some tips in xrf okay so i will go here new drawing and i this is this is the one of the xrf i created okay so this is the um, one xrf so this is an architecture plan <laughs> You need to check the first the units okay so unit is millimeter so we created one drawing over here just press f7 for this grid okay then check the unit uh unit is showing in just so change that one to millimeter click okay then type xr for xrf and just click over here attach drawing or otherwise you can go 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 from here otherwise right click it and attach the drawing so our xrf is this one so just click that one okay then uh, this one you can uh, uncheck it okay so automatically that will come to the origin uh, original point okay so the, the xrfs uh, are come over here okay um, the next step i will show you how to do this um, how to do this uh, um, um, n copy and uh, x clip and uh, this cs space okay so i will i will just save i will save the extra first okay this one i am saving over here okay and uh, this, if you go to here so it will automatically showing the reload from here okay otherwise you can go to the extra and just uh, you, you need to reload okay so just reload that one so what will happen that, that things will be come up over here okay so if you need to uh, next is need to uh, this is now block okay so now one of the block okay so you need this text in separate okay so type command n copy n c o p y okay n copy and select the text which were you need okay select that that is you can see that is highlighting okay so you can select the point from here to here or otherwise you can need to move that one okay you can move it okay so the block will be remaining same so this the block will be remaining same and you can copy that one uh, easily from the xrf okay for example you need to copy this text okay this is also block okay so just type n copy and select this one and select this one and select this one so you can easily easily copy this uh, um, this all all things okay uh from here okay so so it, it was copied okay so you can easily select these things and move, move wherever you need or you can edit something like that you can do it for example this hatch you need to copy it okay and copy command and copy and select that one select this one that is the block okay so then uh, you can easily uh, copy from the extra for all the things okay so like that you can copy it and you can copy these things okay copy these things and enter okay so and then the pick the same point and insertion point also same okay so that will come up over there so you can select similar to this thing okay then you need to you can need to change the color means you can change the color okay so like that we can make the end copy okay for example this hatch you need to end copy it okay so in xrf this is a block okay so we can we will we need some hatches from here okay so we can end copy that things okay so like like that you can end copy it and copy from here and this is also you can end copy it okay this one also you need you can end copy that one and this hatches you need end copy uh, uh, copy means you can uh, copy that things and you can select like this okay so once you're done you just uh, make the center point of this one okay so then we will give the center point of again that one and i didn't copy and copy it another two parts so just uh, copy those two point okay just enter and select the point and select it there okay so if you need um, um, another color for this one easily you can give the color for the uh, n copied one okay so go here and you can uh, give the color okay whichever you need you just need to give a color okay so like that we can make it n copy and for example you need uh, some parts in next clip also you can do it okay so you need some parts only okay so this this highlighted part uh, you need okay if you if you deleted this one so it will not uh, no uh, that will that will move okay so you need for example you, you need this much part only for this extra okay for example this much part so what we can do we can just give an x clip x clip command okay x clip okay then select the extra 
enter and just a new boundary and select a polyline we will select this polyline so that part will become okay so this line is coming means that is before we uh, encoded that that is what it was coming okay so like that we can uh, exclip it that one okay and you can delete this this line also okay so exclip then if we need the back of that one so means just select a, a, a create a, a type x clip and enter it and off it okay so the bar the part will be remaining as it is okay so next step is like um, uh, we need to give some uh, ch space okay so for example i am just copying this text as okay okay from here okay uh, oh sorry and uh, i'm just copying this text and copy okay copy this one copy this one and copy this one and copy this one okay and i'm placing over here and we'll go to the layout and we need this the, now now you can see here is in the paper space no one nothing is there okay so we need uh, this texas over there in 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 our model okay so just to click the, uh, activate that one and ch type a ch space command okay select this uh, textus okay enter it okay so what will happen that text will come up over the uh, in in a paper paper space okay you, you can we can do it in the paper space these things okay like that we can give, give the uh, ch space okay ch space again okay, and, and you need these things okay in in uh, in our paper space means that now, now this is this one in the model space okay so you can enter it that one and you, you just it will come up over the uh model space okay like that you can make it the simply that, that you can make it in the textures and everything in the um easily you can make it okay uh, and this text back to the back to uh, this model means that now this is in this paper space okay you just type ch space okay then select this text okay and enter it so it will it will go to the model space now you can sell if you select this one it will not show okay so now this this one in the um, model space okay so like that we can uh, make a lot of things in the xrf and another command is there are some this written command okay so for example i am just going here okay just i'm um, changing the layer to all layer to in 43 color okay all layer in 43 color uh, maybe it, uh, this was now in 43 color okay so i'm just saving this one okay I'm just saved this one and I'm go to this drawing. So I just reload that one. So it, it was showing like the same color. Okay. So we'll have a lot of colors over here, but it was still showing same color. Okay. So what we can do just type this retain this retain. Okay. Just to this retain enter. Okay. And then give a zero value and just uh, X rough and just reload these things so the you can see here the changes okay so the color will be changed okay so what are the color is uh, we used over what are the changes we used over there so that will come up over once you did that one just maintain uh, this return as a one okay so otherwise uh, every time we are changing the color and it will come up uh, uh, the the what are the changes we are you are making it will come up over here okay so easily you can change the color also for for this extra from here just select one of this one and uh, select it and you can go to the xrf and select it okay if, if if it's go to all means it will come up all the things okay so select the xrf and select all and uh, you can change the color whichever you need okay light color means you can change it like that so like that we can make the uh, uh, xrf things okay so if you if you need um, if if you if you need to add some other things so, so it will come up over here okay like that so hopefully you guys understood this video then if 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 it's useful then please subscribe my channel it's it's uh, tips for some extras okay so you can um, you can uh, uh, do the things uh, easily in extra like that okay ch space and n copy and x clip okay so if you need some part like this one for for example this this kind of things x clip it okay uh, x clip just type x clip and select the block enter it and new boundary and just uh, old boundary yes okay so select the polyline select it so that will come up over the here okay so like that you can make the uh, x rough 
and the X clips and everything. Okay. So if you want to back up of back all the things, just select X clip. Okay. Enter and off it. So that will come up back. Okay. And end copy, end copy, just end copy it. Okay. Just just do like that okay so this is very useful command in um, those who are working in electrical or mechanical field so they can easily uh, do the things uh, like this using these commands okay so if you like my video please subscribe my channel thanks for thanks for watching thank you